When we think of commercial lighting, our brains may gravitate to this sort of thing, the lay-in LED panel. It's functional, it's workmanlike, it's efficient, and let's be honest, it's a little bit boring. Wouldn't it be interesting to switch things up a little by installing something a bit different? Well, I think this may well be the fitting to do it. This is the Okta from Lucico Lighting, part of Lucico Group. It's part of their contour range and it's designed to hang from a ceiling via these suspension kits and give off both direct and indirect light. Now you may remember from other content we've created, that means it gives off light both downwards from the fitting as you'd expect, but also upwards to reflect off the ceiling and create a diffused effect in a space that makes it a much more pleasant environment to be in. Now, when I first unpacked this fitting, I thought that this part here was a light source, but it's actually just a blank panel, and the LEDs that provide illumination are housed at the ends of the fitting. That struck me as a little bit odd to start with, but actually it's really smart because it can create a more even spread of light output from the fitting. The fact that they're regressed in this little black cone also means that these can be used to achieve a low glare rating. We've created a Q&A video on this subject explaining just what a low glare rating means, so check that out after watching this one if you haven't already seen it. The linear nature of this fitting means that it can be used in long rows, which are made even more flexible by the addition of connectors to space lights further apart. But these fittings can really be switched up even further by getting creative and layering them at different angles and heights to create a feature light in a reception area or something like that. But let's have a look at the nuts and bolts of installation as this fitting doesn't just look good, a lot of thought has gone into making life easier for the installing electrician as well. The first thing that makes this fitting simple to install is that you can open it up really easily. You simply remove this decorative panel, then give a quarter turn on these handles and the internal tray will slide out. This can be held in place on these suspension wires while you make your connections. One concern that I always have with a slimline linear fitting like this one is the challenge of making fiddly connections in a tight space and then trying to get the cable retention screws into a tiny clamp that's buried up in the back of the fitting. Well, there's none of that here as there's just a blind grommet on the back that can be pierced and the cable brought through. And then instead of trying to do up fiddly screws inside the fitting, there's this handy little plug that you connect the cable to and then that just connects to the fitting, making installation an absolute breeze. Looking inside that plug more closely, you can see that there's room in there for five different connections. This is really clever because these fittings come in a number of variations, including a standard fitting that only requires a switched line, neutral and CPC. Then there's the emergency version, but it still gets connected via the same plug. This time, however, you connect a permanent line to the terminal marked with the plus sign. Then there's a further variation that features digital dimming via DALI control, and for that one you bring a permanent line to the terminal marked L, and all the switching and control is done via the DALI side of things, by connecting to the positive and negative terminals. So just one connector gives you lots of flexibility while keeping the connection method consistent. Just one thing to note elsewhere in the fitting while we've got it apart is that the output from the controller goes to this little junction box at the other end of the fitting and from here the direct output is already connected. However, to prevent damage to the connection for the indirect lighting, which is built into the top of the fitting, this connection arrives disconnected and just needs plugging in down here. Once all your connections are made, it's a simple matter of inserting the tray back into the fitting, twisting the locking keys back into place and snapping the decorative cover back into place. To extend the fittings into a continuous run, you simply undo the grub screw on top of the fitting, insert a bracket to connect the physical bodies of the lights or accessories together, and then using a connecting lead, simply plug the fittings together electrically and you're good to go. It couldn't be simpler. This fitting has some really neat features and when you couple that with creative design and positioning, you can use it to create brilliantly functional installations or something that little bit more special. To find out how to make your lighting designs more efficient, click the link to our free training package in the description below and to find out more about glare, take a look at this video right here. Thank you very much for watching.